What is going on Crypto Fiends? Ryan Martello here at the Crypto Fiend Studios and today we have a news episode talking about a lot of things happening in the crypto space that you should really be aware of. First off, we are going to be doing our Bitcoin giveaway. Secondly, we are going to be discussing the G20 and their current stance on cryptocurrencies and regulation. We are going to be discussing Tron vs Ethereum and which DAP platform is currently better at this state in time. And lastly, is Satoshi Nakamoto Moto alive and is he trying to give us a message all of that in today's episode coming up So we have a lot to talk about today, but before we get into anything else, I just want to say thank you to all you crypto fiends for supporting the channel. Whether you're leaving likes on the videos or comments down below, it all means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much. So first off, we are going to be doing our Bitcoin giveaway. Um, in my video from five days ago, I talked about how we were going to be doing a giveaway uh, and we do have uh, 96 comments. So. Let's take this URL, bring it on over to our comment picker. And we have a total of 88 unique comments. So that's uh, subtra subtracting any comments that were repeated or anything like that. Uh, and let's get ourselves a winner. Now, don't get discouraged if you don't win. We will be doing more in the future. And our winner is Jenny Aurora. After watching this video, I don't want to see any other YouTuber. There is everything in it. Thank you so much for your precious information. Thank you so much, Jenny. That is a very nice comment. I greatly appreciate it. And congratulations, you did win $25 in Bitcoin. I will be sending that over to you uh, probably right after the posting of this video. And uh, I will also leave a comment on your comment to make sure that you know that you won uh, and all that sort of stuff. So our first piece of news today is going to be discussing the G20 and their current stance on cryptocurrency regulation and taxation. Now, if you're not familiar with the G20, the G20 is an international forum for governments, officials, and central bankers from the world's 20 largest countries. Member states represent 85% of global economic output and 66% of the world's population and 75% of international trade. So it's safe to say that the G20 is the largest forum in the entire world. Uh, now, pretty much with this forum, what it's used for is all these government officials and central bank officials join together to discuss issues happening around the world and try to solve these issues. And in their recent meeting, the recent forum, they discussed cryptocurrency regulation and taxation. Back in July of 2018, a couple months ago, the G20 was very assertive in saying that cryptocurrencies do not pose a threat to global financial systems. However, they have persevered in monitoring developments in the industry. As with no most nations and central banks, the greatest concern is money laundering, so AML and KYC regulation will be at the forefront of any discussions and decisions. So recently in their meeting, uh, we will continue to monitor and if necessary, tackle emerging risks and vulnerabilities in the financial system and through continued regulatory and supervisory corporation address fragmentation. We look forward to continued progress on achieving resilient non-bank financial intermediation. We will set up efforts to ensure that the potential benefits of technology in the financial sector can be realized while risks are mitigated. We will regulate crypto assets for anti-money laundering and countering the financing of terrorism in line with FATF standards, and we will consider other responses as needed. So as of right now, the G20 has not come out with any official statement saying this is the rules the regulations and the taxation of cryptocurrencies. Now, when it comes to the taxation, that of course is going to vary country to country. Uh, but if this does sort of happen where the G20 says, okay, this is our stance on cryptos. This is the regulation. This is what needs to be happening. Um, we are going to see a big change in cryptocurrencies, not necessarily for the worst, uh, but you are going to see a more centralized sort of space when it comes to exchanges, uh, KYC information, all of that sort of stuff. So the days when it comes to sort of being in the dark in cryptocurrencies and keeping stuff to yourself, your personal information, that may be disappearing very soon. 
We know we just had that issue with Ether Delta, where the SEC uh, made the owner of Ether Delta pay up, I believe, three hundred thousand um, dollars, and that was due to being a decentralized and unregistered exchange. So I think a lot is going to be happening in the future for cryptocurrencies within the next year. I think twenty nineteen is going to be a huge year for crypto, um, and yes it will help with money laundering it will help with terrorism even though i really doubt that happens that much in crypto um and that's where we currently stand um the i gotta say it will be nice to have a clear understanding of the rules regulations and taxation of crypto so we don't us investors don't have to run into any issues in the future we can understand what needs to be done and have a clear layout of what needs to happen uh, when it comes to that sort of stuff so that's what we can expect in the future uh, between 2019 and 2020 will be we will be getting an official statement saying okay guys these are the rules and the regulations and these are the tax laws for cryptocurrencies now again this can vary country to country but as it seems right now the g20 is sort of unifying this regulation all together um, in crypto so that's where we currently stand with the g20 i know it can sound kind of scary and not that exciting that you have to go through with tax laws and regulations and kyc but i mean you can't really escape it unless you go to uh, Iraq or something like that. So that's where we currently stand. Next up, we are going to be discussing Tron versus Ethereum. Tron surpasses Ethereum in DAP usage. Tron makes headlines once again as it becomes the most popular decentralized app platform in the world. According to the data seen on DAP Radar, a website that tracks insights and information about all existing DAPs, Tron DAP usage has exceeded that of Ethereum's on November 29th of 2018. Not only has Tron surpassed Ethereum in the number of DAP users, but they also exceeded the number of transactions and transaction volume through DAPs. DAP statistics. IDEX and Ethereum-based decentralized exchange and once the most popular DAP in the world has been surpassed by TronBet. TronBet is a decentralized gambling app and it beat out IDEX in the terms of number of users and 24-hour transactional volume. DAP Radar reported that TronBet had a 24-hour transactional volume of 200 million TRX or $3.5 million while IDEX only had a 24-hour trading volume of around $300,000. It surpasses the Ethereum's top DAP by a long shot. The top 15 Tron DAPs are related to gambling, while the other three are gaming DAPs. So I think this is pretty exciting stuff, especially when it comes to seeing all the drama online through Ethereum DAP developers and Tron DAP developers. Um, I think this is really interesting to see that Tron has so much going for it right now and not a lot of people talk about it. Even me personally, I have never really been a big fan of Tron. I always sort of thought of it as a joke or not legit for a handful of different reasons. But after really looking into things and seeing this, that they have more users than Ethereum right now and their number one DAP is being beating out IDEX, a cryptocurrency exchange by a long shot, this is definitely something to keep an eye on with Tron in the future. Tron could become a major leader in the cryptocurrency space when it comes to decentralized applications. Uh, I also really like how they're really focused on uh, the gaming industry. And that's something you really don't see that much in DAP platforms. Uh, the majority of times, like Ethereum, you see DAPs being created for every such thing. But it seems like Tron is really focusing on gaming. They even just donated $100 million to gaming on their, uh, their DAP platform. So uh, I'm very interested to see where this thing goes in the future. I am considering making an inv investment in Tron. I'm currently not invested in Tron, uh, but that is one I am going to be keep an eye on and maybe making a position very soon considering the price right now for tron is very very nice tron hit an all-time high of 20 almost 29 cents that is absolutely ludicrous and they're currently at about one penny right now so definitely not the worst time to consider jumping into tron uh but again not financial got not financial advice guys this is just one i am going to be keeping on an eye on in uh the next couple of days or so and possibly making a decision if i do make a decision of course i will let you know uh in a future video so our last news today we are going to be discussing satoshi nakamoto and 
Is he alive? Is he coming back from the dead? Is he trying to tell us something that we don't know? Is he trying to warn us what is going on? So a couple days ago, Satoshi Nakamoto's account was active for the first time since 2011 seven years ago this is insane news so satoshi nakamoto the anonymous founder of bitcoin who has not been active since 2011 and any forums had suddenly posted on the p2p foundation forum with a single word nor the satoshi account became active again today and took two actions first the account befriended wagner tamanaha and then posted a single word nor the email used by the account is satoshi at gmx.com which was allegedly hacked back in 2014. based on his profile wagner seems to live in brazil brazil and is active in the blockchain community he has a background in marketing and advertising and doesn't seem to have any experience in coding so a lot of people were curious to know why satoshi befriended wagner to start and as of right now there is real no reason behind it even wagner came out and said he has no clue why this is happening and he uh, is expected to be investigated for a very long time from here on out now he did send out a message with one word saying nor the word in arabic translates to light but is unclear why satoshi would post an arabic word a simple google search of the term gives you the following result the most loving affectionate and caring person you'll ever meet extremely smart funny and sensitive a bit lost still figuring out what she wants in life and how to reach it stubborn and not willing to take other people's advice but when she smiles she makes you forget all the problems you have her hug will give you an assurance that you have never Never felt and will never do so I thought this was so fascinating to see um, and it's really a great time to be alive in the crypto space so this of course guys could mean anything it could be a hacker it could be Satoshi Nakamoto I think it's very interesting how he chose the word nor um, when it comes to the overall description talking about the most loving affectionate uh, and caring person you'll ever meet etc could it be satoshi nakamoto or could it be in reference to bitcoin directly could this be in reference to bitcoin uh, really changing the world as we know it i guess we'll never know the truth but uh, it's definitely something to think about as you go to bed at night uh, so that's all the news i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed today's video i am trying to change the overall editing of the video so if you see stuff changing from video to video just know that i'm trying to uh, change the overall layout to please myself and of course make everything easier and aesthetically pleasing for you guys so let me know down below what you think about all this news as well as the current editing state um, and of course be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next Woo!